Uh, my name is Tim Herrera. I'm the Communications Director for the Sacramento County Office of Education. Um, we're here to kick off California uh, Kids Fire Relief. Uh, the kids need your help, and so we need your help in, in, in spreading the word. Uh, this morning, we're going to share some details uh, about this effort, and you'll hear from a number of speakers. You should have a listing of all the speakers and proper spellings of their names and the order that they come in. But this will be as follows, Dave Gordon, Sacramento County Superintendent of Schools, uh, Tim Taylor, Executive Director of the Small School Districts Association, Dr. Ed Manansella, who is the El Dorado County Superintendent of Schools, um, Annette Lane, who is the Superintendent and Principal at Pioneer Union School District, and Mr. Scott Lay, who is the Nevada County Superintendent of Schools. Um, so you have uh, the proper spellings of their names after the news conference. They're all available for questions afterwards. So again, thanks for being here. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Dave Gordon, Sacramento County Superintendent of Schools. Dave? Thank you very much, Tim, and uh, good morning and, and welcome, everybody. Thanks for being here. Uh, for joining us this morning. As was said, I'm Dave Gordon, Sacramento County Superintendent of Schools. And this morning we're launching a joint effort forged out of necessity to support the hundreds of kids and their families who right now are hurting here in California, not just in our region, but all over the state. And what so many of our children and our families are experiencing right now is horrific. And they need help from all of us. They need help. When one school community hurts here in California, we, we all hurt. And when one school community asks for help, we all pitch in to help. Uh, that's how we roll here in California. And this morning, you'll hear about California Kids Fire Relief. Tim Taylor, Executive Director of the Small District Association, will be along in a few minutes to explain the specifics. But once again, this is not about the details. The details will get money flowing to provide relief, but it's about our hearts and it's about reaching out, and it's about saying to all of our colleagues and all of the young people and all of the families who are hurting, we're here to help. We're all in this together. So the effort has two goals. One is to raise financial support for the students, families, and schools affected by the fires. The second goal, as important, is about providing emotional support for those young people, their families, and the school communities who are in desperate need of emotional support. No one can have a feel for what it's like to be evacuated. No one can have a feel for what it's like to lose your home who hasn't experienced that. But please, please, we're asking everyone to Think about what that would be like and think about how you can help to mitigate the effects that these families and young people are, are feeling. Our Sacramento County office is proud to be a part of this effort. We know connecting young people with other young people is always very powerful. Young people throughout the state can help our young people who've been affected by the fires. And we know how compassionate young people are and their capacity to be of help. And if you know anything about schools and education, you know that when one school community calls out for help, others will answer that call. We stick together in this, we in the school business stick together. We in the school community stick together. And one of the most important things in the life of a child is the school and their teacher. We wanna make sure that while they've lost their schools, in some cases their homes, that the students' families in the fire regions haven't lost hope and haven't lost connections with other young people throughout the state. 
So now it's my pleasure to introduce my longtime friend and, uh, and colleague and a great leader here in California, Tim Taylor from the Small School Districts Association. Thanks, Dave. It's always hard to follow Mr. Gordon. He makes me emotional being Irish and everything, but I do want to thank everyone here today, especially our education leaders that are going to follow me and talk about what we're going to be doing. Uh, on behalf of the Small School District Association, it, I cannot thank you enough for all the support and we're very excited about this campaign. About 62% of schools in California are small and we have 61 districts currently evacuated and all of them are in small rural towns uh, and our small school districts. Many children and families have lost everything. They've lost their homes, their belongings, and being evacuated is very scary for our children and our teachers. I previously served as the Butte County Superintendent of Schools, and as you might remember, the 2018 campfire destroyed Paradise Elementary and eight other Paradise Unified and Concow School District sites. They were either damaged or destroyed. As you remember, that fire burned 150,000 acres and destroyed Paradise, Concow, and parts of Megalia in Butte County. 85 people perished in that fire. And as we are experiencing helping coordinate, as we experienced coordinating that, we learned during the campfire that we found out that families and teachers can use gift cards and support, as Mr. Gordon said. We were in this room four years ago when we decided to come up with a program very similar to this one. And it seems like yesterday. So that's the focus of California Kids Fire Relief is adopt schools adopting schools. So we are asking students and families in those areas not affected by fires to help by sending donations either in the, in the form of gift cards or monetary donations to this county office address you see in our materials and on our website. When I say schools, when we're dealing with a crisis, I mean public schools, public charter schools, and private schools. The county superintendent you'll hear from today, responsibility is to serve and support all children, but in a crisis, we, we broaden that scope, and we are doing that today. If you prefer electronic donations, you can contribute using the Venmo name you see behind me. These donations will help kids, their families, and their schools to begin starting over. We're not asking people to mail in cash, checks, clothing, or supplies. Our association, the California Small School District Association, will collect these gift cards and distribute them, and my staff will personally deliver them to the county offices or directly to the school. And we will use these funds that are sent electronically to purchase gifts. We are asking teachers throughout the state and beyond, again, those not impacted by the fires, to help reach out to children so we know that we know are hurting. I'd like to show you a video we put together um, to give you an overview of that. It'll be up on our screen here. And we want to thank our, our, our partners down in Santa Barbara, Cold Springs School District, who put this together. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Mike Marino. I'm the president of the school board of Cold Springs School District. Four years ago, we suffered a terrible tragedy when the Thomas Fire pulled in and we were forced to evacuate for nearly two weeks. Subsequently, we had a debris flow, which tragically provides with several community members, including two Cold Spring students. It felt at times that we were never able to get through that tragedy, but thanks to the support and generosity of our neighboring school districts and school districts throughout California, we were not only able to rebound and heal our community, but grow even stronger. As of August 23rd, the state of California is battling 11 large wildfires. The Caldera Fire in Northern California has burned over 100,000 acres. The Dixie Fire, the largest in the nation, has burned over three quarters of a million acres. These fires have devastated homes, businesses, and schools, claiming thousands of structures. Today, over 61 school districts and their respective communities are under evacuation orders. These school districts and families need our immediate support. The California Small School Districts Association the California County Superintendents Association and the Sacramento County Office of Education have partnered to launch the California Kids Care Fire Relief Initiative 
to provide much needed immediate relief to school communities devastated by the wildfires in Northern California. The initiative partners school districts across the state with impacted communities to provide a conduit for families to give visa debit cards as a form of immediate relief to those in need. The initiative also connects students through messages of hope, support, and love to those who have lost their homes, been displaced, or lost their schools. The Cold Springs School District is proud to kick off the campaign with over $1,000 worth of visa debit cards and hundreds of messages of support. Learn how your school district can make a difference in the lives of these students. Hello everyone, I'm Amy Alcina, the proud superintendent of the Cold Springs School District. And I'm here today to invite you to join our efforts in helping our friends in Northern California that have lost their homes and schools to the fires. Together, we can ensure every child gets every opportunity to be successful by joining the California Kids Care Fire Relief Campaign. Parents, we need your help in donating gift cards to support families that are in need of immediate relief. Hi, I'm Zoe Kopitz, and I'm the president of the Cold Spring School Parent Association, and we're excited to share how we work together to raise funds for families in Northern California affected by the wildfires. As a community that's gone through this kind of tragedy, we learned that Visa gift cards are immediate support. We were able to set up drop boxes in the front of the school and a link through our parent square to raise funds to buy gift cards for the families. Students, we need your assistance in creating notes and cards of hope and strength for the students in Northern California. Hi, I'm Alyssa. I'm a third grade student at Cold Spring School, and I'm here to ask all the boys and girls of California to help the boys and girls of Northern California and write a message of hope. Your house may not be standing, you might not have a school, but one thing you always have is friends and family. We are here together to support one another. We are extremely grateful to the community for supporting us when we encountered the fires in the group club. Now it's our turn to give back. So we were asking teachers, uh, excuse me, we're, we know that children feel safe and we're asking teachers to help their fellow teachers. And we want you to like write letters of encouragement, make posters, do YouTube videos, whatever you think will help them. Re imagine kids coming back after weeks of being away from school um, and they've been evacuated and they get to get a big box of letters and cards from them. So I'd like to bring up Ashley Slobach, who's our coordinator. And we have our first donation from Cold Spring, which we can show other schools. And, Within the box, Ashley, why don't you tell them what, what you see here? Hi, I'm Ashley Slovak, and I am the coordinator of special projects at SSDA. And we are so grateful to Cold Springs School District for donating our first um, donation. Um, it is uh, over $1,500 in gift cards. We have uh, masks, we have clothing, and we have dozens of letters in support of our students up in um, that are suffering from the wildfires up north. Um, so thank you to Cold Springs and Amy Alzina, superintendent, for our first donation and for your support. Great box, really nice. So uh, let's. Uh, that's how we're going to get started, and we look forward to it. Uh, we have hundreds of schools that are going to need help. Uh, the fire season's just beginning, and so please do what you can to support and be part of this. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ed Manansala who's the county superintendent in El Dorado, dealing with the fire there. And Ed, thank you so much for coming. You're a dear friend and partner and uh, uh, looking forward to hearing your words. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you, Tim. First, I'd like to thank the Small School Districts Association, the Sacramento County Office of Education, and the California County Superintendents Educational Service Association for just coordinating this effort today. Today I'm representing El Dorado County, the 58 California County Superintendents, and in particular the county, the county's superintendents and their schools who are currently navigating these challenges. 
As of now, the number of counties that have experienced an active fire in the last few weeks, this is closer to 15, impacting, as was noted, more than 60 schools, all while trying to reopen campuses for the new school year in the midst of a global pandemic. In El Dorado County, 125,000 acres have been burned, 461 homes lost, 33,000 residents displaced, and 11% of the fire is contained. As of this morning, the Caldor fire became the number one fire prioritized in the nation. Consequently, six school districts are closed, the town of Grizzly Flat has been decimated, and Superintendent Annette Lane, who I will, who I will introduce in a moment, lost Walt Tyler Elementary School. As you can imagine, these fires have compounded the burdens of our most vulnerable families. They especially need our support more than ever. And over the last week and a half, I've heard many stories of devastation and resilience. It's heartbreaking and inspiring. I've had the opportunity to make telephone calls to individuals who either have lost their home or are uncertain if they lost their home. Um, one story is of an instructional aide of ours at our county office who was comfortable with me sharing her story because she felt it was important for people just to understand the challenge of serving at this time and yet taking care of their home. She shared at the time of evacuation, um, she stepped out of sight of her home, started to film it with her camera, uncertain if that home would last. She grabbed what was most important to her. One of them was just the ashes of her mother. And then she realized when she looked at the ashes of her mother, it was 30 years ago to the date that she lost her mother. And that home was special and dear to her. So um, our colleague decided just to leave the ashes of her mother inside of the home so that if she lost that home, those, those ashes would be united. She also grabbed what was some of the most important things to her. And there was the things that um, represented the work environment and her ability to serve the students. So, so here is a perfect example of colleagues who are holding two challenging circumstances. They want to serve, and yet they need to take care of themselves. And so this support is critical. These stories resonate across the state, which is why this collective effort of support is so key. Here to share her school community experience as a result of the Caldor fire is Annette Lane. Superintendent Principal of the Pioneer Union School District. Annette. Thank you, Ed, and thank you for your leadership. Dave, thank you for recognizing this is about our hearts and how we um, extend them to the people we care about in our communities. Tim, thank you for all your efforts in putting our students together with other students, our staff together, our communities together in support of each other with these amazing resources we know people are going to need. Um, it's hard to be composed after that video. It was so heartwarming um, and so hard to um, know that so many other communities have experienced these kinds of devastations, but they've, they've come through it and they've been stronger together. And I know that's gonna happen for our community. Pioneer community is very devastated, but by not just our fire, but the fires that are happening around California and our nation. We have three schools in our district and students from Grizzly Flats attend all of our schools. And as many of you know by now, our elementary school in Grizzly Flats, Walt Tyler Elementary School was destroyed in the fire along with many of our students' homes and some of our staff's homes. The remainder of the families in our district are um, either on mandatory evacuations or warnings. Um, we have several staff who live in our community and are evacuated. Um, we have staff who are in other parts of El Dorado County and are under mandatory evacuations or warnings. Our families are spread out throughout California, from Chico to the Bay Area, to Lodi and all places in between. 
We have families in trailer parks, parking lots, and tents in various evacuation sites. Many families are temporarily housed with their friends and other family members. We were working very hard early last week to locate all of our families. We were putting out um, email messages and phone messages and visiting evacuation sites. And one of the grandparents who's raising a grandchild in our community called me to let me know that another set of grandparents raising another grandchild was safe and staying with them. And um, they just knew the value of keeping those girls connected to each other, their classmates, to their community. And so there are so many stories about that. Um, so many places you could visit, so many people you could talk to where the same sentiments are happening and the same care and concern and love is being expressed and resources are shared and space is shared. Um, our office staff continues to reach out to families to locate them and coordinate resources for them. We're working with EDCO um, and their homeless liaison to support them with their immediate needs like grocery cards and gas cards. So this gift from Cold Spring School District, we thank you. We're so blessed with your generosity is going to be an immediate resource for families and it is so greatly appreciated. One of the greatest concerns we have right now is the availability of housing in our county that families can relocate to in order to stay connected to the people they have such a strong bond with. So one of the other ways you can help is to go to the Pioneer Fire Relief Go Me Fund account and the El Dorado Community Foundation where they're collecting monetary donations to help address those immediate housing needs. Thank you. Principal Lane, I want to give you the first school from Cold Springs down in Santa Barbara, Montecito area. And uh, you know you'll get this to your teachers and kids. And uh, just a beautiful, a beautiful box. And uh, congratulations. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. And we'll make sure we, we will reach out to them and and just let them know how this, how much this means to our community. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you for coming down and your leadership. Thank you. Thank you. I'd now like to introduce uh, Scott Lay, the county superintendent in Nevada County. And uh, a couple weeks ago, um, we had the river fire that uh, really everyone held their breath throughout the country. And Scott, thanks for being here today and speaking on behalf of the other districts. Come on up. Thank you, Tim. And Annette, as, uh, as a former superintendent principal of a very small school district, I know the impact these fires have on your community. And we're all, uh, all of you, as, as Dave mentioned, are, you know, when, when something happens to one of us, it happens to all of us. So we're all behind you and hoping the best for you, your community, and, and Ed, everybody up in El Dorado County, and, then, and that matters for across the state, whether it's Kern County right now who's experiencing large fires or, uh, you know, up in Plumas, Lassen, uh, it's just, it's terrible right now. So thanks, Tim. Uh, good morning, everybody. As superintendent of schools for Nevada County, part of my role is working with our local first responding responders in emergencies. On August 4th, as you've heard, the river fire broke out on the border of Nevada and Placer counties. As we monitored this fast moving fire and its progression toward the schools and communities of Colfax and Chicago Park, we immediately set up evacuation shelters and centers uh, that were out of the, uh, the the fire path. In the midst of all this, while on the phone to the Office of Emergency Services, uh, one of my staff recognized uh, that I was in the path of the fire. And I got the call that so many families across the state of California have on your phone, code red alert, and you need to evacuate now. So racing out of my office, I got home, packed my car with all my belongings like we've heard before, kind of glanced around your house for what may be the last time, video a few things, Loaded up while the sheriffs are racing back and forth up the road, uh, telling you to get ready to go. Uh, ash raining down on you from the orange and black cloud above. It's pretty much an apocalyptic scene and something you hope you never experience. But we did um, with that. We were lucky in Nevada and Placer County. We had a change of wind direction and that um, 
combined with the amazing efforts of our firefighters, uh, stopped that fire and it blew back on itself. Uh, however, we did lose over 100 homes in our communities and uh, unfortunately, no schools, but we did lose students and staff homes. Um, although this fire was short lived relative to other fires across our state, it still left an emotional and physical scar in our community. The California Kids Care Fire Relief is something that can certainly help in the healing of all our communities impacted by fire across the state of California. As I was out visiting Chicago Park School with families and students who had lost their homes, I realized that one of the things that was easily transportable for them were gift cards. That was what was most important. Large items that was taken care of by Red Cross and other organizations, but they needed to know that night, where were they eating dinner? Giving them food to cook or canned goods, that doesn't work because they don't have anywhere to cook. They may not have a place to go, but the gift cards were key. And this program is, is absolutely amazing with that. I wanna thank the students as we saw at Cold Spring School District in Montecito for taking the lead on this amazing effort and starting off as we saw the box that was delivered to Superintendent Principal Lane. We know it wasn't too long ago that you experienced the loss and had strangers support you during your difficult time. We all appreciate, appreciate your willingness to want to pay that forward now uh, during others' times of need. On behalf of the impacted students and families in Nevada County and my neighbor in Placer County, I greatly appreciated being invited here today to have the opportunity to generate support, both emotional and financial, for our families that lost everything. So thank you. Yeah. Tim? All right, Superintendent Lane, thank you, and superintendents, uh, we appreciate it. Superintendent Lane, thank you for sharing your story. Uh, that concludes this part of the press conference, but our, our uh, school leaders are here to answer any questions you might have if you have some. Just, just let us know.